Okay, so this is gonna be quick, but I figured if Gary Newman, the maker of Rust and Gary's mod, is having trouble with this a couple years ago, back in, let's see, uh, 2019, I figured, and he's bumping it and stuff, I would, you know, go ahead and talk about this some, because it, it drove me insane for five months, and I couldn't figure out how to answer it. And, uh, long story short, there's something called custom frame settings, and, uh, I'll leave this link in the description, but basically, you can override your camera data, so it's just attached to the camera. And then it will get the uh, HD additional camera da data from it. And then we'll set the modes. So this is where you can set custom modes for stuff like your high, medium, low settings. Um, this isn't going to be everything, and I'm not going to cover everything, but this does cover a, a large portion of how to do graphics in HDRP. Oh, where is it? Quality. And then, um, so I've tried making very high and very low, but for some reason HDRP only lets you do three different settings, which gets very different frustrating especially when you want to have more than you know three settings so here i've got five settings for lod bias and uh you basically just enable lod bias to true and then it took me forever to figure out because there's no documentation on it that you needed lod bias mode enabled and then set it to override quality settings because otherwise you just have from quality settings or scale quality settings which i still haven't figured out what scale does and so you'll have those two together and now you can have custom load biases in your hdrp games <laughs> i know right <laughs> so in the description i'll include the link and the link to the forum where uh not only i have commented and jokingly told gary not so jokingly i would act i probably would have paid him back then a few months ago um but here is the link and and it will have the download so you can just click this download the uh, script and then you know look at it pop it into your game because i don't want to go over all that and uh, i don't want to make you have to write it out either that's annoying so yeah basically that's that and so now when i load the game i actually made another script here um yeah, i guess you can copy from my screen if you want um this is a drop down to choose the lod bias settings so I won't have to change them in code and wait for it to recompile. I can just go to my graphic settings, set my render distance to low, and then that will change it from, I think it was on high, so it was 1.7, now it's a 0.6, and you see things aren't rendering as far anymore. And I guess I could go as low as I want with that. I could make a, a very low setting, and then go even lower. But yeah, that's that. Uh, side note for the end, um, if this does get enough attention and you guys want it, I will make a tutorial on how to do every single graphic settings inside of HDRP, which gets very, um, very annoying. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you disliked it, hit the dislike button. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any more future videos.